Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. You could be driving. Honda has won more U.S. News and World Report awards than any other brand in the last decade. And now you can add another one to the list, being named the best car brand of 2022. Come get your Honda today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing can Taste the feeling. Hello and welcome as we start today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping. All is well with you and yours in your little slice of heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend some time with you and yours. We start today's show talking about crime in the capital region. Local law enforcement announcing this week that they are planning to uh, engage in a large-scale crackdown on crime. The sheriff's office announcing that they raided nine homes this week, finding more than $55,000 in drugs, ranging from fentanyl to crack cocaine, as well as stolen guns. Sheriff Sid Gotro, quote, there's not a night that goes by that you're not going to hear gunfire. It's all around here. If you're going to partake in these illegal activities involving shootings and all the violence that's occurring, we're going to come for you. We're going to bring you to justice. Ironically, while the sheriff was holding a news conference to announce this action, there was another shooting, fatal shooting, happening in our city, leaving one person dead. It is something that for me is long overdue. It is something that for me, law enforcement should not be the first one to step up for this. They are reactionary. Uh, as you well know, I'm sure by now, if you have half a functioning brain, that law enforcement is reactionary. There's only so much proactive policing you can do before you either break the, the, the back of the taxpayers with additional funding or you end up simply moving crime from one area to another. At the end of the day, Sheriff Sid Gotro is as good a man as you will ever find anywhere on this planet. And if he has reached a point in conjunction with elected officials, city officials, and the like. Um, if they've reached this point now, that should tell us everything that we need to know. Of course now, being realistic here, there is only so much that law enforcement can do without the full-fledged support of ordinary everyday citizens. It's one thing for us to want law enforcement to arrest all the bad guys, get them off our streets, but it's something else entirely to expect them to do that without cooperation from the public. Simple fact of the matter is, wherever it is that you live, 
the people that reside there with you in your neighborhood, your community, they know what law enforcement doesn't. They know who the bad guys are, who the perpetrators are. The folks that live there, they know who's engaged in illegal activity. And at the end of the day, if you want to improve the quality of life where you live, you've got to join forces with law enforcement to get the bad guys off the streets, pure and simple. There, there's no two ways around that. And the sooner we all embrace that and join forces with law enforcement, the sooner we'll be able to return to some degree of normalcy in our lives. At the end of the day, y'all, I don't know about you, but I think you're worth it. At the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I think our children's future deserves it. And at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but personally, I'm about sick and tired of being sick and tired every single time you go online, open up a newspaper, turn on the news, and you see more and more deadly violence occurring at the hands of younger and younger individuals. Speaking of that, younger individuals, there is a bill being debated, floating its way through the process at the Louisiana legislature, and it is a direct reflection of the saying that yours truly coined years ago that simply says when you fail to govern yourself, you consent to be governed. Now, life has taught me, God blessing me to be here for a good minute. Some of y'all need to be governed and you can get upset with me if you want, don't care. Ain't the first time you've been upset with something I've said, ain't gonna be the last time you get upset about something I said. But at the end of the day, as long as I tell you the truth, you have to deal with that. My conscience is clear. Some of y'all need to be governed because you, for whatever reason, refuse to live by the rules of a civilized society. You, for whatever reason, and we all know the reason, decided to bring someone into this world, not raise them accordingly, and then put them on the streets to live with civilized individuals. Some of y'all need to be governed. And as a result, there is a bill floating its way through the legislative process. Uh, the bill sponsored, by the way, by New Orleans Senator Jimmy Harris, saying, quote, Across the state of Louisiana, as well as across the country, there's been an uptick in deadly violence. This bill would hold parents, along with their children, responsible for criminal acts carried out by their kids. It is a sad commentary, y'all, that we have allowed children juveniles to run amok on our streets. It's a sad commentary that there are those among us that don't care enough about the children they brought here than to raise them to be responsible and then turn them loose on the streets of our city and our region. There is and, and it escapes me right now. I guess I've given myself my homework for the next show. But there's a bill in another state where they are considering if you take the life of someone driving impaired and that person has children, you then are responsible for child support for the rest of their juvenile lives. Meaning, if you choose to drive drunk, you hit someone that's a parent, Q, 
kill that parent. Well, you will now be on the hook for paying child support to their surviving children because of your actions. It's a sad commentary that as a society, we've arrived at a point where we have to do this. We have to govern people because they refuse to govern themselves. And you know your buddy Clarence as, as a staunch, diehard, longtime conservative. I am as little government a proponent as you will ever find in life. But again, when you fail to govern yourself, well, it's time for somebody to step up and govern you because you cannot, will not, are not capable of living by the rules of a civilized society. At some point, enough's enough, y'all. And if it means holding parents accountable for the actions of their children, so be it. Because when all is said and done, I love my neighbors, I love my coworkers, I love my friends. And I am sick and tired, as I'm sure many of you are as well, of opening up the paper every freaking day, seeing younger and younger and younger individuals carrying out deadly violence and seeing more and more and more instances of people losing their lives over in the grand scheme of things, something that should be considered inconsequential. Such is the world in which we live. We are breathing down the neck of the first break of today's show. When we come back, I want to talk a little bit about fighting back. Not that kind of fighting. Different kind of fighting. The southern border of the United States of America, <laughs> if you thought stuff was bad not so very long ago, the Biden-Harris administration is about to take the crisis at the border to an entirely different level. But good news is for those most affected by it, not everybody is going to take this lying down. Real interesting story. We'll talk about that when we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, right where you've got it, here and only here on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had 
my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The Mazda CX-30. Named an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Perfect for the journey ahead. Start your journey in a new Mazda CX-30. Right here at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bud Show. <laughs> you know, um, I, years ago, particularly with the advent of social media and the digital age, the internet, I realized the American public has the attention span of a gnat. You ever get a gnat in the house, particularly in the kitchen, and he'll flitter by your face and you go, wow, got something in the kitchen, something in the room, whatever. Oh, it's a gnat. And he'll land on something. He'll flitter around for a couple of seconds and then zoop, zips off to something else. It'll land someplace else and it'll flitter around for a little while, a little while, and then zoop. It's off to something else. And that behavior continues constantly, continuously. That's how we are as Americans. Now, I will leave to you to decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But there are those out there, particularly elected officials, that bank on you having the attention span of the aforementioned gnat. Something big will hit the news, everybody focuses on it, and as soon as something else big happens, we're, we're shipped off to focusing on that. Remember not long ago, then President, well, he had actually left office in, Donald J. Trump announced that he was going to take a trip to our southern border. And all of a sudden, Kamala Harris, Vice President Harris, decided she needed to run to the border. I mean, after all, you can't let Trump beat you to the punch. You need to go. So, of course, she made this trip to Central America to try to ascertain the root causes of all this illegal immigration. Have you heard anything since then from this administration? Oh, wait, that's right. They announced this week that they are getting ready to do away with Title 42. Now, for those of you completely out of the loop, <laughs> the gnats among us, what this is going to result in is an embarrassment to this country, a disservice to folks looking to immigrate here legally, and an insult 
to the American taxpayer. The Department of Homeland Security says that they are expecting when, and I want to say it's May 23rd, don't take it as gospel, it, it's in the ballpark, where Title 42 will be done away with. The Department of Homeland Security is anticipating that we will see around 500,000 illegal immigrants crossing our borders, wait for it, weekly. We are talking about more people in a month entering this country illegally than people here legally that will turn 18 every month. <sighs> is this what you voted for? This is not immigration. This is an invasion, y'all. This is an invasion. So the good folks in Texas, gotta love the Lone Star State. Gotta love them. They've decided, well, actually, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, has decided, you know what? Enough's enough. If the Biden administration, Biden-Harris administration, is not going to do their job to secure the border, then it's up to us. So they have now decided, and God bless them, just goes to show you when you put your mind to things, what you can accomplish. They've decided, as you know, they're no longer going to let the Biden-Harris administration let all these people into the country illegally. And then, in the dead of night, put them on buses and airplanes and ship them out to, country, to, to communities all across our country. Particularly in Texas, where they cross, and neighboring states. The governor of Texas now has on standby 900 buses at their disposal. And as these people come across the border illegally, they're going to put them on buses, drive them to Washington, D.C., and let them off at the steps of the Capitol. Boom. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. You don't want to secure the border? Okay. When they come in, as soon as DHS lets them out of custody, we're going to round them up, put them on buses, and we're going to drop them off on the steps of the Capitol. Let you deal with it. It's something of your making. It's your policies that have led to this. It's your conscious decision not to enforce the laws of the land. So you have now forced our hand. I just went to the grocery store day before yesterday. And had I known this was coming, I would have made it a point to buy some additional popcorn to sit back and watch what's going to happen in Washington, D.C. I mean, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Roughly a year, maybe, ago, we looked up right here in the capital city, and buses were rolling up, dropping off people, many of whom couldn't speak a lick of English, and dropping them off in our community. Didn't tell the mayor, didn't tell the Metro Council, didn't tell law enforcement, didn't tell anybody. Just drop them off in our community. So if that's good for the goose, 
Greg Abbott says it ought to be good for the gander. You let them in? Okay. We're going to put them on buses and we're going to drop them off on the steps of the Capitol. You know, it is a sad commentary, y'all. When the federal freaking government not only allows this to happen, but they're implementing policies encouraging this to happen. Now, <laughs> you've heard me say any number of times in recent memory that this is how they play you. This is how you get used. The people hurt the most by the policies of the Democrats, the Biden slash Harris administration, are folks that look like me. They could not have been elected without the support of their base. Them, them, them people. Couldn't have happened. And who do you think is going to be hurt the most by allowing millions and millions and millions of people to just walk up here and set up shop? Oh, but the Biden-Harris administration is on top of things. They also announced this week that we're going to give them all smartphones. And that way... We can be sure that we stay in touch with them so we can check on their immigration status. <sighs> if you didn't know any better, you would think these people are stupid. <laughs> Y'all read between the lines. Read between the lines, people. God bless you, Gov. Governor Abbott, way to go. Good for the goose, good for the gander. Because it's easy for them to do. They're up in D.C. We're down here at the southern border. I mean, aside from the fact that they give less than a you-know-what about you and your well-being. But send them all up there. Let them, let them deal with it. And watch how quickly they come up with a solution to the problem. Bottom of the hour break. We're going to get this done. When we come back, <laughs> these people are not your friends. We'll talk about that. Oh, he did tell us that, didn't he? Huh. Son of a gun. Looks like DJT was right again. That's next. When we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Driver assistance technology comes standard on every Camry model as part of Toyota Safety Sense. Setting the standard for safety every time you're on the road, no matter the destination. Save on your Camry today at Team Toyota, I-12 at O'Neill. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School Prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. 
Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugé, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugé Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And Talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Question. Someone that you allow into your home every day. Someone that you have honored with the sacred trust of getting you the information you need to make important decisions regarding your well-being and the well-being of this country and letting someone into your home every day, sometimes two, three times a day to interact with. Typically, conventional wisdom says you would consider that person, quote, a friend. <laughs> Remember all the consternation in the media when then-President Donald J. Trump uttered the now infamous words, the media are the enemy of the people. Remember that? And of course, the mainstream media, social media, lost their ever loving minds. And once again, <laughs> Donald J. Trump had it right. I forget what it was that spurred me to do this. Oh, wait, I do know. I do know. The Hunter Biden laptop scandal. I found myself like many of you saying, huh, okay, we knew this was a true story a year and a half ago. We knew it. Over 18 months ago, we knew it. But you lied to us about it. So I started thinking last night how many times in recent memory has this group of folks the mainstream media even in cases where it was abundantly clear to anyone with half a brain that they were lying how many times have they lied to us in recent memory Y'all can laugh at me if you want. I know I'm old. School. So I don't mind. I ran out of paper. Trying to write down all the lies, blatant lies, many of whom we knew was a lie. 
and they continue to this day. Remember Russian collusion. Remember that lie? When in fact, it was actually the Democrats colluding with the mainstream media. Remember when they told us the Hillary Clinton campaign didn't spy on Donald Trump? We now find out that was a lie. They spied on his home, his business. They spied on the man in the freaking White House. Another lie. Remember the conversations in the media about the efficacy of masks and social distancing? We now find out uh, that was a lie, too. <laughs> Remember they told us mainstream media, Democrats, Biden-Harris administration, if you get the shot and you get the booster, you won't catch COVID and you can't spread it. Remember that lie they told us? <laughs> Remember Donald Trump is putting kids in cages. Oh, he's a barbarian. He just, he, he's locking kids up in cages. Well, now we know that it was Barack Obama who built the cages and, wait for it, Joe Biden is now increasing the capacity to hold more people. Another lie. Crime in major cities, AOC and the media, uh, nothing to see here. Don't, don't buy into the, her words and not mine, hysteria. There's no explosion in crime. Another lie. It's not a crisis on the border. It's a challenge. It's a situation. Another lie. We are knocking on the freaking door of a half million coming in regularly every week. But it's not a crisis. You're right. It's a lie. Remember this one? We got everybody out of Afghanistan who wanted to leave. <laughs> yep, another lie. How about this one? The record inflation that we're seeing, it's transitory. Been to the grocery store lately? Yet another lie. <laughs> There's no teaching of CRT, critical race theory, in public schools. Eh, another lie. <laughs> oh, remember this one? The Border Patrol agents, they were using whips on people, just trying to better their lives to get in this country illegally. Eh, another lie. Remember that one? Uh-huh. Kyle Rittenhouse, a raging lunatic racist, just looking for somebody to kill. Eh, another lie. Can't forget this one. Juicy Smolye was just an innocent victim. Eh, another lie. <laughs> oh, the most recent one. There's a seven-hour gap in the phone logs from Donald Trump's phones during the January 6th insurrection. Eh, another lie. How many times are y'all going to fall for this crap? You hadn't figured out yet, these people ain't your friends. Matter of fact, Donald J. Trump was right. When you were talking about the largest, most impactful political stories in the history of this country, ignored, covered up, hidden from view, you don't think a friend would do that, do you? The enemy of the people. Now, we find out 18 months after the fact. Um, yeah, the uh, 
Hunter Biden laptop from hell. Uh, yeah, it's real. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, we've uh, we've uh, authenticated the emails. We knew this a year and a half ago. We knew it. And of course, only the libs, only the Democrats slash progressives, only they could put a cherry on top of a S-word Sunday. Only the Democrats. It wasn't bad enough that they lied to you. Uh, that's, that's Russian disinformation. There's no laptop. It, it, it can't be verified. None of that. If that weren't bad enough, then Twitter and Facebook, if you even mentioned the story, they kicked you off. Do y'all see what's happening here? <sighs> y'all laughed at me. You scoffed when I told you these people want to control every freaking aspect of your life. Where you can live, where you can't live. What kind of car you can drive, what kind you can't drive. What you put in your body, what you don't. Unless you want to kill a baby, then that's a different show for a different day. Okay? What you can, what kind of power you can use in your home. Just, just go down the list. And in this instance, what you can voice your own freaking opinion on. We are either going to hide the story or lie about the story. And if you say anything about it, Twitter, Facebook, even though it's true what you're saying, we're going to ban you. <laughs> Is there really any reason why polls now show Right at three quarters of the voting public of this country say we are heading in the wrong direction. Really shouldn't be that big a surprise, should it? And yet, today, how many of you, because you apparently think they're your friend, how many of you are going to let ABC, NBC, and my favorite, CBS, into your house this evening. How many of y'all, knowing these people have lied to you about every freaking thing under the sun in recent memory, how many of y'all, because you apparently feel they're your friend, are going to let CNN LOL and MS LSD into your house today? How many of you? Because after all, they wouldn't lie to us. Are going to read USA Today, New York Slimes, I mean New York Times, the whole nine. <laughs> Of all places in the United States of America, the founding fathers, say what you will about them. They had it right, y'all. They understood the importance of a free press to the survival of this republic. If you think the press, particularly on the left, and social media, for that matter. If you think these people have your best interest at heart, <laughs> I've got a beachfront, mountaintop chalet with eight jacuzzis, one in every bedroom, in Bruley, Louisiana. Love y'all, Bruley. Good town. That I'll let you buy real, real cheap. These people are not your friends. Unless, of course, you have the kind of friends 
that look in your freaking face and lie to you every day, every opportunity they get. I wish I had enough time so I could point out all the other flat out lies they've told us in recent memory. But I think you get the picture. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremontis has meat. Tremontis has seafood. Tremontis has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontis.com. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back for the final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Buck Show, even though I ain't get a countdown or nothing like that. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you asked me to look it up, Bugs. <laughs> if y'all only knew what happens during commercial breaks. Um, we need to send our, uh, our heartfelt condolences out to the Owens family. Uh, Chris Owens, dying recently, um, and was a fixture in New Orleans entertainment, regional entertainment, and, of course, French Quarter entertainment for decades. Uh, as a young man, and I guess it was probably true, but to a lesser degree, and it's not misogynistic before y'all start sending hate mail, it probably to a lesser degree was true for young women as well. But getting your driver's license and being able, for the first time, if you did not live in the city of New Orleans, 
The rite of passage was making your first trip to New Orleans by yourself. You and a buddy, you and a friend, what have you. And your first trip to Bourbon Street by yourself. You all remember that. And if you're like me, there were certain places that stood out in your mind. Chris Owens, her club is one I, I can see in my mind's eye right now every detail about the place. Uh, the famous door, a couple of other places on Bourbon that over the decades have become iconic. And I understand certainly at this stage in life, I understand that it's all a cycle. It is a part of it. But the older you get, the more you take the time to reflect upon iconic things. And she will be missed. Don't know how long her, quote, presence will remain in the quarter. But it is something that uh, we boomers, particularly, hold in high esteem. Again, it, it was a rite of passage. And, you know, to be able to come back to school on Monday and you're hanging out with your friends before class, and well, what'd you do this weekend? Bruh, I went to New Orleans. What? I went to Bourbon Street. Oh, dude, you were king for a day. <laughs> You know, you were king for a day, but uh, she will be sorely missed. And hopefully uh, the family will be able to keep her legacy alive and the club open um, for many, many, many more years to come. You know, in the last segment, uh, <laughs> it occurred to me, I might need to start a new segment on this show. It, it, it could very easily fall under the umbrella of our most recent edition. Now, that's just stupid. But it's probably more in line with, and it, 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 it correlates, don't get me wrong, only a Democrat. <laughs> only a Democrat could think this way. I can't say that on TV. <laughs> I can't say that, Marty. <laughs> Did y'all see recently only a Democrat recently Joe Biden Pete Buttigieg questioned by the media on these exorbitant gas prices what can we do to mitigate the impact on Americans' wallets. And what is the government doing to help us in that regard? <laughs> Last week, in a speech, President Joe Biden brought up the fact that, quote, for the hundreds of thousands of folks who bought one of those electric cars, they're going to save $800 to $1,000 in fuel costs this year. <laughs> Only a Democrat could come up with the logic as convoluted as it is, as flat out stupid as it is, but then feel comfortable enough to utter this stupidity in public. Only a Democrat could rationalize, well, you can save $1,000 a year on gas just buy an electric vehicle. Average cost, y'all, 60 freaking 
grand. So let's say you happen to get a $60,000 car, you get 0% APY, annual percentage yield. So it's not going to cost you a nickel to finance the car. You just pay the price of the car. Finance it for five years, 60 months. That's $1,000 a month is what your note's going to run. Only a Democrat, a liberal, a progressive, only they will tell you, well, you can save 1000 a year, just spend 1000 a month. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You can't figure that out? You can save 800 to $1,000 this year on gas costs. All you have to do is spend $12,000. So let me get this right. I'm going to spend $12,000 to save 800 to 1000 Only a Democrat, y'all. Only a stupid freaking liberal well you can save 800 to a grand this year on gas <laughs> and here's what they won't tell you where you think all this extra electricity is going to come from to charge these vehicles you do realize do you not all these millions of charging stations that they're going to have to build Guess who's going to pay for that? <laughs> uh-huh. You don't think for one second, do you, that the electricity producing companies are going to just eat this loss, do you? Electricity costs are going to go up. Wait, wait, wait. Son of a gun, you're right. I don't tell you nothing but the truth, y'all. Electricity costs are going to go up. Oh, and they very conveniently don't want to tell you, they're going to charge you by the mile for what you drive. <laughs> but you can save $800 to $1,000 to spend twelve grand. It's all good. Time's up, y'all, and I got to go. This day, just like any other, you know the drill, I give it to you. Yeah, you're right. America, we're not perfect, but for this old boy's money, it's still the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, he loves you, and I do too. Best news is, there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you later. God bless.